Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today for another video. I will be going through and unboxing the IKEA Millsbo cabinet as well as showing you what plants I've decided to put in the cabinet. At the end of the video, I will be going through and giving you my final thoughts on if this cabinet is worth um, the price tag. Why are you so grumpy? Here is the semi-finished IKEA cabinet. Let me run you through what we have in here. So first we have Philodendron Milano Chrysum. And I did show you these in my houseplant tour. Still rooted in sphagnum. Haven't seen any root growth, but they're doing pretty well in there. Next, I do have a Syngonium. I don't know what variety this is, but I did get it at a big box store. Then I do have two cuttings here, String of Hearts, Peperomia. Next to that, I have my first ever Begonia. This is a Begonia Maculata or angel wing begonia, I believe. Moving down, here I have uh, my philodendron micans. Next to that, I have a golden pothos. I added this moonlight cutting in here, again, for the environment benefits um, inside of the cabinet. I think it will help this plant grow a little bit faster. Next to that, I have my string of turtles clan. I decided to put them all together simply because they're in different pots and they look really cute. All right, moving down, we have my two new plants that I got recently. They're um, philodendron micans. I just picked them up a few days ago. I'm trying to figure out 
why they are curling this way. This is how I picked them up and I'm hoping that I can get them to stop curling. But I put them in here also for that reason. Hopefully the conditions inside the cabinet will make it thrive a little bit better. Next to that is a new addition also to my plant collection. This is an Aniso Adansonii, Monstera Adansonii, and the leaves are absolutely stunning. That's why they call it a Swiss cheese plant. It literally has all these holes, kind of like Swiss cheese, and it just looks super healthy, and I got this one off Facebook. Next to that I have in this really cute pot that my sister gave me heartleaf philodendron cutting. Now on the very bottom shelf, I have my Brantianum. I'm hoping that the humidity and the light combined will give this one um, an even better opportunity to thrive. It wants to push out this new leaf so badly. If you saw on my last video, it was just beginning to pop up as a new leaf and now it looks like it's beginning to unfurl, so that's kind of exciting. Right next to it, I do have my Monstera Peru. Now, if you did watch my last, uh, my last video, you may have remembered that this leaf was just unfurling. And if you do remember, this is what it's looking like now. Um, it just unfurled and it's already putting out a new little leaf. Can you believe that? This has quickly become one of my favorite plants. I avoided buying it for the longest time um, because they're not cheap, but I really just enjoy the growth pattern on this plant. And I may even have to just transfer this out of my cabinet because it's already touching the top shelf. Now, up at the top, I do have my Raphidophora tetrasperma, and right next to it is my Cebu Blue. This is an 8 inch pot. I got it at a big box store, and it's one of my favorite plants. It grows pretty fast. All right, so some final thoughts regarding this cabinet. I definitely think that if you are looking for something that's more aesthetically pleasing, I think that you will really enjoy having this cabinet. As far as being a greenhouse, you definitely need to modify it quite a bit in order for it to suffice as a greenhouse. As you saw, I did minimal modifications simply because of where I have the cabinet placed. It's ideal for lighting and it does get pretty warm, so it's also ideal for humidity. However, if you have this in a dark area, for example, you may want to modify it by adding grow lights as well as a humidifier. I'm going to play around with it for now and see how it ends up working out for me and I will definitely be updating you um, either here or on Instagram. If you have this cabinet, go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you enjoy having it in your home. And lastly, I do definitely enjoy having it. It's a display cabinet, right? So as a plant person, I want to be able to display my plants and the fact that it's enclosed helps it a little bit better with humidity. That concludes today's video. If you would like to see any more of my planty content, I have my house plant tour listed down below. If you enjoy watching this please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. Let me know down below what you'd like to see next. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.